is at night when winds are fair, when shot and shard have ceased their wild surprising. I hear the sound of music in the upper air, rising and falling till it slowly dies. It is the beating of the wings of migrant birds, wafting the souls of these unburied heroes into the skies. The Turkish and the, and the Allied forces had been in a stalemate for, for weeks. Um, but on May 25th, the white flag was waved and uh, time was taken for each side to bury their dead. And it um, created this kind of extraordinary silence and camaraderie. It's really a collision of the image and the music and the actors and the texts. And so then, of course, it all leads to music, being a musician. And what were they playing? What were they, what were they dreaming, in effect? What's the imaginary iPod of, of these men? And, and then all arrows point towards um, Frederick Septimus Kelly. Do you realise this was composed yeah. <laughs> while, he was, while he was there at, at, at Gallipoli? And Those sounds? really respond to Vaughan Williams writing at the same time and Elgar writing at the same time. And then you place that stream of musical thought against the Turkish, the folk music, the music of the people as well. Carl was commissioned to write a new piece based on uh, the Ataturk monument being interpreted through, uh, through the mind of a mother who has lost her, who has lost her son in, at Gallipoli. And so there's both anger and ultimately a kind of uh, reconciliation. His cantata, Our Sons. Well, we've you know, used this extraordinary collection of photographs that were taken by the troops themselves and journalists at Gallipoli. So we have this quite amazing kind of um, pictorial record of the campaigns. And the use of imagery is imperative. It was the first time that you saw the, the, the horrors of war from the other side. It's sort of grand and I think it's okay to have grandeur um, out of such, such horror. And, uh, and it doesn't seem so meaningless. It's, it's not a grotesque experience. It's a, it's a night of you know, real beauty and emotion, I think. 